Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, my video that I made last week. I told you one of the projects I wanted to do was uh, adding a side locker to my toolbox at work. Well, after thinking about it, at, uh, that locker, it's not going to do what I want. Uh, but before we get into that, I got a little bit of a rant. I don't understand why people on the highway, when they're driving, they think that if there is an obstruction in their lane, whether it be a pedestrian or a farm tractor or um, a police vehicle or whatever is in their lane, that they shouldn't have to slow down. They should be able to just cross the center line into my lane and keep on motoring just like I'm gonna get the hell out of their way even if I got to ditch it because why should they be bothered well level, yeah that's bullshit if there's something going on in your lane and you need to cross the center line to get around it you also need to make sure nobody's coming at you it's Frickin' common sense. All right. So let's talk about this tool cabinet. Um, I had that six drawer locker that I thought I wanted to use, but I didn't. I don't think it's gonna do what I wanted to do. Um, I was excited about getting it, and I wanted to kind of force it to make it work, but it, it ain't gonna work. So maybe uh, what I'm gonna do is we'll get you set up here and we'll, it's picture time we'll draw a little picture so what we have is uh, let's see this is my tool cabinet toolbox you're looking at it from the front you know here's all the drawers of the toolbox on top of that is the hutch and on top of that is the new tool cabinet that I just built that I've been showing you videos about for the last month or whatever. So what I want to do is I want to add about 20 inch wide cabinet. And let's just say we're looking at this, you're looking at it from a top angle. I'll, draw, I'll look at this upside down. And see if I can draw this so here's the floor here's the top of the tool cabinet and the cabinet that I'm building so originally my first plan was you'd open up this door and inside would have been all those lockers and then I wanted to put over here a full-length slide out pegboard so I'm still going to do that, but I'm going to do three of these pegboards and no locker. So basically what you'll have is, oh, let's just draw one on here. See, that's a pull-out pegboard. All right. It's going to be on slide, so it'll slide in and out of this cabinet. And on this pegboard, then, I'll have two sides to work with to hang tools and I want to hang tools on there that are oddball stuff that don't normally easily fit in drawers of the of a toolbox this will be things like oh I don't know hammers and uh, pry bars and um, crescent wrenches and what have you how do you like my artistry that's pretty nice huh so I'll have both sides to work with. Uh, one of the slide-out drawers, let's say this is another one of the panels, I should call it. Which, by the way, this is going to be about 20... Whoops, i got to write that the other way. About 20 inches wide, and this whole thing will be 6 feet high. So this panel will be a little less than that. One of them will have hinged here another 
panel or door, whatever you want to call it, that will swing open and closed. So on the pegboard, on the back will be a set of T-handle wrenches, and then on both sides of this will be a set of T-handle wrenches. And I'm going to keep them inside the original plastic trays with magnets behind them to hold the T-handles in place. At least that's the plan. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Uh, I got a lot of space down here left on this panel. I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up a bunch of these bins. I think I got like 20 of these for $10. So I'll put some of these bins maybe down here. Um, and I can also add oh let's say all my allen wrenches maybe a spot for hex bits I mean this isn't really proportionate here if this whole thing is almost six feet high this piece alone is only maybe 16 inches so there's a lot of room on this panel uh, the whole back side of the panel I'm thinking maybe layout tools like squares and those triangles and rulers and things like that just stuff that doesn't easily fit into a toolbox uh, and then the third panel is going to have one side that is strictly uh, trays that come out and inside will be spray cans oh boy that's a good looking spray can right there huh anyway uh, there'll just be racks of spray cans in there so I can keep my carb cleaner and spray paint and grease and all that other crap on one full panel by itself and again I'll still have the back side of the panel for whatever uh, I'll definitely have room to grow with these three panels in here um, and again this being 18 inches inside of the one inch tube that gives me basically six inches of depth for say spray cans plus something on the other side. Now what's a spray can? Three inches plus the thickness of the panel and then I'll have like two inches on the back side for narrower stuff. Uh, this one here with the swinging door there's not going to be a lot of depth on the back side but I do want a place for hanging things like oh um, wire wire looms or uh, test leads I guess is the words I'm looking for that's where I am right now on this project. Excuse me. I'm not 100% sure of the layout of each panel. Uh, the things that we just talked about are some things I definitely want on there. I think it's going to clean up my mess quite a bit. If you've got any ideas or suggestions about this project, uh, I'll be happy to listen. Uh, you can check out the blog at thegreasyshoprag.blogspot.com. On there, I might have some details. Uh, for sure, I'm going to have a picture of... I started collecting crap for this project. I know I have. Let's see. Somewhere around here, I have the a caster wheel that I'm going to put underneath here. Because uh, I know there's going to be a lot of weight in there. And... We were doing some cleaning in the yard at work, and I salvaged a bunch of one-inch square tube for making the frame. So I'll I'll post a pic of some of that crap. Uh, but again, that's really all I got for now. So thanks for watching. Later.